Harry, another contestant from Blue Chip All Star Academy. We're here at the screening rooms for a preview of the first episode. Can you tell us, first of all, a little bit about who you are and why you applied for the show? So, I'm Harry Swales, I'm 13, I'm in the army, and the reason I applied for the show is because um, I wanted to, you know, I've got a young horse, I wanted to uh, kind of put her, her through her paces, I wanted to put me through my paces, and. Um, and kind of see how we did up against the competition. I, I think considering uh, both of our lack of, the lack of experience of me and the lack of experience of my horse, I think we did quite well. Um, and it was a great experience. Yeah, I, I definitely recommend it to anyone. I think it was really good fun. Okay, so I know when you applied for the show, you had to send in a video audition, didn't you? And your girlfriend did as well. Tell us the story about that. So um, I wasn't actually going to apply for the Blue Chip All Star Academy, uh, and it was only because my girlfriend did, and she'd suggested that maybe I should have a go and, and mention the fact that my girlfriend had applied, and it would be quite competitive if we both got on the show. Anyway, you can probably guess what happened next. Uh, I got the phone call from Horse and Country while I stood next to her, because I didn't actually tell her that I'd I'd applied, which is the funny thing. So, I, so, so phone rings and I'm like, horse and who? Oh, just a second. Yeah, it's, it's dad. Um, really? That, that's, that's great. Um, can I call you back? No, I can't call you back. Okay, um, then, then yes. Um, anyway, I kind of improvised from there with, with, with my girlfriend. She, she took it well in the end. <laughs> Um, what do you mean in the end? What was the initial reaction? The so initial reaction was, I obviously had to come clean and was like, so, so you know that horse and country thing? Well, anyway, that was them on TV. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, it was, I promise. Look, here's the number and everything. Uh, and, then, uh, and then it kind of went to, uh, well, you know, it's still early in the day, you never know. <laughs> and then by the end of the day, it was, uh, well, it was kind of awkward silences and... Um, <laughs> But, but ultimately she was happy for me and you know and, and I've got loads of great free stuff which she can also have access to and she's here at the screening. Yeah. Um, so she's forgiven you then basically. Yeah, she's forgiven me now. She's forgiven me now. How do you think it would have been if she had got on the show as well? How would have it changed the experience for you? We're both very competitive people. Oh it's probably just as well we didn't yeah. both get on the show. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, she, we're at both also both at completely different levels, and the show's a bit of a, it's a bit of a leveler because yeah. although you've got people at all different levels of experience, you still some of the competitions, some of the actual you know, the individual competitions, they they are levelers. So it would probably have got quite heated, I think. And uh, and we're talking now, whereas I couldn't guarantee that we would have been talking had we both got on the show. <laughs> and we're about to watch the first episode here on the big screen. Tell me how you feel about that. So I have absolutely no idea what to expect. Because you've all done that thing where you hear a recording of your own voice and you cringe. Oh, it's so yeah. it's going to be a bit of that, I think. And you, you, must, you must have kind of nuances and you must say things which you don't really notice because you're saying them. But when you watch yourself saying it, you pro I'm probably going to be cringing at a few moments. But I, it is going to be interesting, though, you know. Um, but yeah, slightly worrying. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's going to be fine.